Bumblebee, wild caught pink salmon, and uh, wait, what does that say? Skinless and boneless. I can read cursive, big brain move. So this is something I got to have for a snack, but since I'm currently avoiding carbs, I will be having it the objectively worst way. Plain, on a plate, alone. No crackers, no sauce or anything else. Which is really probably not fair, but hey, that's that's what we're doing. Well, before we open it, let's take a look at the nutrition on the back here. We've got 180 calories, 8% for total fat, 13% for saturated fat, 27% for cholesterol, 34% for sodium, and 29 grams of protein. Not bad for 180 calories. Salty though. All right, well, I guess we gotta open this up and get her on the plate. Okay, pro move. All right, how is this gonna work? Okay, let's see. Woo, you can see the salmon there. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it's a little, it's got some liquid in there. I'm glad that didn't splash on me. Pause. Let's rewind and take a closer look. How is this gonna work? Okay, let's see. Woo, you can see the salmon there. Okay. Nice. Okay. Slowly coming out. All right, it's not coming out like this, so I'm gonna cheat. I had to use two hands to get everything out, but we got it. It's got like a puddle of liquid. It's just kind of a mound of meat. <laughs> it breaks apart really easily. I can't really fork it. <laughs> I guess let's give it a try. Cold, wet, soggy, which is kind of redundant because I said wet. Now I'm no fish expert, but if you were to have told me that this was canned tuna or something, I probably would not have questioned it. It does taste a little bit different from like canned tuna, but it's it's in essence the same. It's just kind of like super blended up fish meat stuffed into a package. It doesn't taste to me like it's got any other special flavorings. Maybe you can taste that it's salty a little bit. It just tastes like canned preserved tuna, except that it's salmon and one's in a plastic bag. Yeah, maybe this would be decent with like crackers or something or maybe on like a sandwich or something. But on its lonesome, it's just kind of like, eh. Yeah, I don't think there's really much else to say about it. If you look about it, there's these little dark spots. So I'm guessing it's got some like uh, the, the skin and whatnot mixed in there or something. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else to say. I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10 on its own. I don't know what I was expecting. It's basically exactly what you should expect from this. If it were on like a sandwich, like a tuna salad, except maybe salmon salad sandwich or whatever. How is that even a salad? Whatever. Well, let's not get into the semantics there. Or like with crackers or something. Maybe it would be uh, bumped up a little bit, but just on its own some. It's just like preserved, blended up fish meat. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the outro. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So some of you might be wondering, because I said I was going to focus more on cooking, why I'm doing a review all of a sudden. And the reason is, I record cooking videos on my phone. But my phone charger has a... Well, it's not just charger, but the thing I pl use to plug my phone into my computer has uh, died here. It no longer works. So... I did the big brain move of ordering a new cable on Amazon. If you take two seconds to think about it, I could have probably just gone to like any store that sells general sorts of goods and bought the cable immediately. But now I've got to wait for the delivery. So good job me, but so that I actually have something I'm working on and not just waiting for a stupid USB cable, I decided to review this now. I have the biggest of brains. I apologize for that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See ya.